All right, it's a beautiful Monday morning, especially if you are a Manchester City fan. But uh, first, let's begin on the home front. Uh, Rivers United extended their lead at the top of the Nigeria Professional Football League to seven points again after a hard fought one win against Remo Stars and Port Harcourt on Sunday. In the Southwest Derby, bottom club MFM held shooting starts to a one all draw at the Lekon Salami Stadium that's uh, at Damasingba in Abaddon. And elsewhere, holders Aqua United pipped Niger Tornadoes 1 0 in New York with 80 Matthews scoring the decisive goal from the penalty spot six minutes from time. Kano Pillars boosted their survival hopes with a 3 1 win against Heartland in Abuja. Katsuna United also kept their survival aspiration alive with a hard fought 1 0 win against Tenyimba at the Amadou Diko Stadium. Namdi Igbujo uh, reduced the deficit for Heartland in the 61st minute, while Daniel Mark restored Pillars' two-goal lead 30 minutes from time. At the Apaku Stadium, Makodi uh, Lobby Stars were held to a goalless draw by uh, Sunshine Stars. At the Quantum Stadium, Gumba United and Quara United served a six-goal thriller. In Lafia, Tojuku Michael scored the decisive goal as Nasarawa United pipped Wicca Tourist 1-0. And let's uh, turn our attention now to uh, the big news at the moment. Manchester City State is stunning late comeback with three goals in five minutes to beat Aston Villa and win the Premier League as their title chances looked to be slipping away amid dramatic scenes at the Etihad Stadium. Let's see uh, enjoy the highlights. Here's the header flicked on by Watkins for Coutinho, brings it down, Coutinho, two! Sterling now gets to the byline, cross comes in, it's a good one, the header, and they have got one back! And Zinchenko, Zinchenko has done well. All right, uh, well, Gidu Lubudi joins me live now to uh, do a review of uh, that classic at the 80 hat where well, did uh manchester city had to come from behind uh, two goals down to win villa at three two to lift the trophy what a game it was oh yeah i that was a fantastic that's premier league at its best um they always do it the other way don't they i know last week they did the same against uh, west ham coming from two goals actually uh that was a finale I was watching the game and uh, I was on the edge of my seat thinking, whoa, Pep has blown this. But you know what? That's what the Stop Premiership is made about. Congratulations to them. They deserved it. I can say that. All right. Uh, well, um, well, Klopp said, let me quote him. If you want to win big, you have to be ready to lose big. That's what they did yesterday. You can't argue with that, can you? No, you can't. I mean... Uh, you have to, the stakes were high, it's the Premier League we're talking about. And uh, if you want to win big, you have to be ready to lose. So he just threw the kitchen sink, as we say, at the game. And uh, at the fear of uh, losing, because there were chances uh, for the um, for Wolves to counter them and score and even win. So, But you have to give credit to both managers. Well deserved. I think we're watching uh, two of the best managers in the world at their prime go at it. And I'm sure next year is going to be the same again. All right, uh, well, GD, well, unfortunately, we may not be able to have as much time as we would have loved to, uh, you know, deal more with this. Uh, but be that as it may, congratulations to Manchester City. And uh, as you said, we will look forward to next season. AC Milan, on the other hand, are also champions in Italy. Well, thanks very much indeed, GD, for talking to me.